We are learning much more about the U.S. population and potentially the future of our political landscape as more people move from blue states to red ones. CBS News' Laura Podesta reports on the release of the 2020 census data. The U.S. population is growing at the slowest rate in nearly a century. Just under 331 and a half million people now call our country home. The 2020 census says more Americans are moving south and west. Illinois, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Michigan and West Virginia are all losing one of their seats in the House of Representatives. Same goes for here in New York, which just barely lost a seat. It wouldn't have if just 89 more people had been counted. And California lost a seat for the first time ever. Cost of living. Uh, people aren't moving to California quite the way they used to because it's really expensive in much of California. On the flip side, North Carolina, Florida, Oregon, Montana, and Colorado are each picking up one seat. Texas is picking up two. Four of those six states voted Republican in the 2020 presidential election. Yeah, it's a nice confirmation of what we've been watching, the kind of movement away from California into Texas, largely on the basis of, uh, of housing costs. Many, though, are questioning the census data because it was gathered during a pandemic. We undercounted people in urban areas, mostly because those are the areas that were hardest hit by COVID and people did not want to open their doors. In addition to determining how much weight each state holds in the House of Representatives, the census also determines the allocation of hundreds of billions of dollars in federal funding. Laura Podesta, CBS News. States will have the opportunity now to redraw the boundaries of their congressional and state legislative districts. Meanwhile, South Carolina's population grew by more than 10% over the past decade to more than 5 million people living in the state.